Hello and welcome to Pivot Table Auto Refresh. My name is Jeff. I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. Microsoft just dropped one of the biggest Pivot Table updates in years Auto Refresh. And this is one of those things where when I saw it, I'm like, Where's this been my whole career? Like, I love this. It would have saved tons of headaches and made my reporting faster. At the time I'm recording this, this feature is still being rolled out. So depending on when you're watching it and depending on your Excel version, you may or may not have it yet. But don't worry, I'll show you the quickest way to check for it in our first exercise, exercise one. This is the table that has all the detailed transactions. And this is the pivot table report that summarizes the data in this table. And as you can see, both totals agree. So that's good, like the report includes everything that it should. And by the way, don't worry if you've never built a pivot table before, we're gonna do that in the next couple of exercises. So with the traditional pivot table, like we've been using for the last couple of decades, when you make a change to the source data, the pivot table does not automatically update itself. And that feels weird because formulas do change when their dependent cell values change, but pivot tables don't, traditionally that is. So check it out. Let's say we make a change to one of the values. We'll change this to 10,000. As we can see, the total of our detail is no longer equal to the total in our pivot table report. Why? Because traditionally, we have to go in and refresh this pivot table manually. How do we do that? There's a couple ways. One of the easiest ways is to right click and refresh. And now we can see those totals agree. And as you can imagine, over the years, this creates this possibility where the report doesn't include everything that it should. And that can create errors in your reporting. Plus, I have to remember to go in and update the pivot table. And that's an extra step. But now, pivot tables can update themselves. So how can you find out if you have this new capability? Well, select the pivot table, go to pivot tables, analyze, and if you have this auto refresh button, you've got this feature. We toggle this on, and you can toggle it on or off. And once it's toggled on, now watch what happens. We change a table value, we'll call this 5,000. <laughs> Do you see that? Both totals agree, meaning the pivot table report updated itself automatically. It also updates when we add a new row. Check it out. I'll cruise down to the last data row and I'll hit tab and I'll add a new transaction, 10234. Let's make this for the south region and we'll call it $1,000, enter. And now we can see both totals agree and the pivot table auto refreshed. And this will even work if we add a new region. Check this out. We cruise up here, hit tab, we add our new transaction ID, 10235, and we add a region that's not currently in the report. We'll call it West, 2000, enter. And as we can see, the West region is automatically in the report and both totals agree. So that is the beauty of pivot table auto refresh. But how does that work when there's like multiple pivot tables? Well, that leads us to the next exercise, exercise two. Let's say we wanna create two pivot tables from the same table. If you haven't created a pivot table before, here's the basic steps. We start by selecting any cell in our table and we go to insert pivot table. We wanna create this on an existing worksheet, though you could also pick a new worksheet. We pick a cell that represents the upper left corner and click OK. Now this is our item report. So we want to view the totals by item. So what we do is we select item and amount. And now we've got a basic pivot table report. And let's make our second report, the rep report. We select any cell on our table and we go to insert pivot table. We want to create this in an existing worksheet and we select a cell that represents the upper left corner of our pivot table report. We click OK. We want to see this by rep, so we click rep and amount. Now both of these pivot tables use the same data source, this table. And behind the scenes, it means they use the same pivot cache. And it means they'll both be updated when the table data changes, even if these two reports are on separate worksheets. So I'm going to insert a new row. I'm going to hit tab 1014. We have a new item, XY100. And we have a new rep whose initials happen to be REP. And the amount is 500. Enter. And as you can see, the new item appeared, the new rep appeared, and the totals for all of these are the same. This is the beauty of pivot table auto refresh. But what about pivot charts? Do they auto update? I don't know. We'll find out in the next exercise, exercise three. Here we have this data table and we want to view this in a chart. We can't use a regular chart because there's some aggregation that has to happen. In other words, we don't want to see all these values. We want to see the department totals. And since there's more than one row for each department, we'll use a pivot chart. Select any cell on the table, 
insert pivot chart. We want to put this on an existing worksheet and I'll slide this over and we want to put it right here. We click OK. And now we have this pivot chart and behind it we have the corresponding pivot table. So we want to see the totals for the department and we want to see the sum of the amount. Let me close this panel and move this over here. Let's go ahead and insert a new row. We hit tab, transaction 110, department is corporate, and the amount is 1000. Enter. And as we can see, all of this stuff is on auto refresh. Absolutely amazing. So once again, the fastest way to determine if you have this is to select the pivot table, go to pivot table, analyze, and see if you have this auto refresh button. And if you do, you can toggle it on or off at any time. If you're on the Microsoft 365 subscription, this update will hit based on your update channel. If you're on a perpetual license, this will be bundled up in the next perpetual license release, but it won't make its way back into older versions of Excel. I hope this has been helpful. I know this feature is certainly helpful for me, and I wish I had this decades ago. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my Pivot Table for Beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a Pivot Table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of Pivot Tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 